Welcome to Keeping It Real with KC. I am your host, KC Phoenix. Leo, you are the fourth sign up for now. I'm, I'm doing these slowly but surely. I'm getting out these readings slowly but surely. These are the mid-month April energy readings. Okay, for those who are new to this, K-I-R-W-K-C dot com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Bullhorn, Overcast, and several other podcasting platforms. Listen to whatever platform works best for you. As for social media, K-I-R-W-K-C on all the social media platforms. Feel free to follow and all that other jazzy stuff. As for the readings, I don't read reversals. I read energy. So wherever the energy goes, that's where I go. Also, there there is an agenda in tarot. So if I'm talking about a queen of pentacles or a king of swords or an emperor or an empress or whatever, I'm not necessarily talking about an actual male or female. I could be talking about a male who is embodying the queen of pentacles energy or a female who is embodying the emperor energy. So yeah, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it isn't your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person here reading some tarot cards. Okay, Leo, I did the pre-shuffle on the main deck. I got judgment and the fool, which judgment is about second chances. You could be passing judgment. Someone could be passing judgment on you. The Fool is about a new start. So it's about a new beginning. The crazy thing is, is that when I was looking at that Fool card on this particular deck, the how happy he looked just skipping down the road, something said to me, he looks like he just got out of jail and he's just happy to have a new start. So I don't know why, if some of you are dealing with some court issues right now, more than likely it's going to go in your favor. Or if you know someone around you that is dealing with some court issues, because with the judgment, uh, again, judgment can relate to relationships as well. But because of what came out in the pre-shuffle on the clarifying deck, the pre-shuffle on the clarifying deck was the king of king of cups and which is water energy, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then the wheel of fortune. So, for that, King of Cups can relate to emotional things, whether it be love or what have you. Cups can relate to emotional things. However, kings, whether it's a King of Cups, a King of Wands, a King of Swords, or a King of Pentacles, are still authority figures. So if I go back to the energy that I was picking up when I looked at the Fool card, where there's someone who was just happy to have a new start, like they just got out of jail <laughs> or, you know, just got out of whatever situation they got in. And with the king being an authority figure, I'm thinking of a judge. If it was King of Swords, I would definitely say this is a court thing, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. But for those who may be dealing with a court situation, this particular judge may be more empathetic to whatever your situation is where their ruling is going to be based off of emotion versus based off of logic or the law. Because you can have that sometimes. You can have the law a certain way, but you'll get a judge who goes in a totally different direction that has nothing to do with the law. It ha I used to study law. So, yeah. But I'm telling you, if any of you are dealing with any type of court stuff where you're going to have to end up in court, you're going to have to go before a judge, it's more than likely going to go in your favor, especially with the Wheel of Fortune coming out. If this isn't related to court things, then really, this is just a new start. Could be a new start in love. Could be a new start in a job. That could also be an authority figure. You could have decided, oh, I've been at this job too long. I'm, I'm looking for something else. I'm off to start something new. I'm tired of this profession. I'm tired of being in the medical profession. I want to be in the, I don't know, house building profession, or I want to be in the um, colon, I want to do, col I want to go to culinary school or something. I want to be a chef now. Whatever it is, it will be a good start because the will of fortune is there. And 
a decision is being made. And like I said, also, it isn't that you're passing judgment on something. Something could be passing judgment on you. But when they pass judgment on you, it will more than likely go in your favor. Now, for the mid-month energy, I'm going to pull three cards for the main and then one card for the overall message. So it'll be a total of four. So what is the energy of Leo for the mid-month energy of April 2021? May I have three cards, please? May I have three cards, please? Okay. Wow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. <laughs> May I have two more cards, please? <laughs> and this does not want to go in. All right. May I have one more card, please? May I have one more card, please? This does not want, hold on, let's see. May I have one more, thank you. And what's the overall, okay. Wow. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna read that as a reversal. Your, yeah, I'm gonna read that as a reversal. Okay. Leo, this card came out. Justice is being served. Justice is being served. Yeah, some of you are dealing with a court situation. This is going to go in your favor. That's why I was like, wow, because mind you, the judgment card came out in the pre-shuffle from this deck. Now justice is coming out. Some of you are dealing with a court situation and it is, and really this is more the past energy, have um, dealt with the court situation or you're about to hear something in regards to your court situation very soon, but more than likely this is past energy. You've dealt with the court situation. This court situation has went in your favor, which is giving you a new beginning, which justice, also you could be dealing with the Libra. Libra card is um, justice. Present energy is the six of pentacles. Six of Pentacles can be an unexpected inheritance. Six of Pentacles can be charity. Six of Pentacles can also be where you have the abundance now to give more than, than you've given in the past is what it is. Also, Pentacles are related to Earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. So I feel like some of you, this was in court is what I feel like. I don't feel like this was a job. I don't feel like this was family. I feel like this is court. It could be a job. It could be family. But I'm just telling you what energy I'm picking up. Again, I'm just the person reading some tarot cards. This Six of Pentacles, whatever happened in court, you came out very well. You came out with more than enough on that in regards to it. Now, this is the thing. For future energy, it had the three of swords. But again, I don't read reversals. I read energy. It came out in the upright, but I would read it as a reversal, energy-wise, where now that you're in a better place with the six of pentacles, now that justice has been served, you're letting go of the heartache. I don't feel... If you're having any pain right now due to whatever the situation was or any pain that comes up, it will be temporary. I don't foresee it being long lasting pain. You might have moments where you reminisce, especially in May. Just a heads up. Mercury is going retrograde in May. Pre-retrograde starts May the, I think, 14th. If I'm not mistaken, you can look it up. You can Google it. But I think it starts the 14th or the 15th in May. And then the full retrograde starts at the end of May. So you might find yourself feeling nostalgic in May where whatever situation you came out of, 
your thoughts might throw you back into it when may arise in the future. So keep that in mind, too. However, I don't feel that you're that you will hold on to that long. I really, really don't. The reason I don't feel you'll hold on to it long is because the overall message was the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is emotional, the fit, emotional fulfillment, emotional abundance, where you have it all because the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. The Ten of Cups is you got your wish. You, you got everything that you wanted, whether it's the family, whether it's the amazing job, whether it's whatever, you're emotionally fulfilled. It can relate to material things. But again, cups, are, it, it's about emotion is what it is. And again, cups energy is water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces that is bringing you your emotional fulfillment. But with the Ten of Cups, it's saying that you are emotionally fulfilled, as in it doesn't get any better than that. You're in bliss is what the overall message is going to be. And I believe that after justice was served, giving you the Six of Pentacles, this stability, this abundance, that gave you the resources to put you in that emotional stability, that emotional abundance is what that is. And this could have been where you went through a divorce and you got alimony. And again, male or female, doesn't matter because males get alimony too because um, what, what's his name? What is his name? Uh, Nick Lachey. That's it. Nick Lachey. When Nick Lachey divorced Jessica Simpson, Jessica Simpson had to pay Nick Lachey alimony because she was worth more. And there's been other situations where females have had to pay alimony to males. So it doesn't matter if you're male or female. You could have went through a divorce situation and you could have gotten alimony or received a settlement because some people would just do settlement. Monique had to pay alimony. The comedian Monique, she had to pay alimony. I think um, her alimony was like $50,000 a month to her husband or ex-husband. So it, or I think it was either 50 or 15. You have to watch her stand up. It was the uh, the Valentine's Day. If any of you watch Monique, I think she's hilarious. But it was the Valentine's Day stand up. She's wearing the red leather dress. And then she talks about how she had to pay the alimony to her ex-husband. So yes, men get alimony too. And then some... They just get a settlement, like a lump sum, like, OK, here's three million dollars. Go away. It could be that type of situation, regardless of whether you're male or female. You could have received some type of settlement, some type of alimony and from a divorce. It could have been something else where you've been going through. You were suing something, somebody for whatever reason could have been in a car accident, could have been um, discrimination on a job, could have been. Oh, my goodness. There are a ton of things to sue people for. Regardless, whatever it was, justice was served in your favor is what I'm saying. It could have been karmic justice where someone did you wrong. And now the universe is writing that wrong. Again, in the clarifying deck, in the pre-shuffle, the will of fortune came out. When the will of fortune comes out, a wrong is being righted. The will is turning in the correct direction. So it could be karmic justice where you may have lost something, whether it be emotionally, whether it be financially, materially, all that stuff. But now the universe is like, you know what? I'm going to bring back stability into your life. That's what I'm going to do for you. And then that's what happens where it gives you more than what you had before, where you could have lost a lot financially before, but then the universe gives you even more now, where maybe some old stocks that weren't worth anything, now they're worth 10 times what they were worth before. And all of a sudden you're cashing out with all of this extra money after you have been done wrong by whatever party did you wrong. No one knows why when and how the universe does what it does. The universe just does what it does. So the message overall, like I said, is the 10 of cups. You're going to be emotionally fulfilled. 
And I have a feeling the reason that you have that emotional fulfillment available to you or will have it available to you is due to the wrong that has been righted due, due to justice being in your favor. And I think that's what I'm going to title this. Justice is in your favor. Maybe I should do that. Justice is in your favor. I think that's a pretty good title. So, yeah, justice is in your favor now. Or justice favors you. Yeah, that sounds better. Justice favors you is what it is. And the end result is going to be the Ten of Cups. So that is your mid-month energy. If any of this resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you will know when I upload new audios and videos to the podcast. And don't forget to share because sharing is caring. Until next time, Leo, be blessed.